Hi all. In this video, let's see how to find the minimum and maximum number in an array. So this is a, a basic interview JavaScript interview question. This is for the beginners. Completely, this is for the beginners. So without using the built-in numbers, we'll see how to find the minimum and maximum numbers. Okay, in an array. So usually we can use math.min, math.max to find the minimum and maximum number in an array or in a list. But how to find them without these built-in methods? So let's see that. So here we have a function and we are passing some array to it. So for that, so first thing what we am doing is like let minimum and maximum number. So we are assigning the minimum and the maximum number as a first element. So both the minimum is first and the maximum is first. Okay. And now I will take a loop. Okay. In the loop, what we do is, so let me take a loop and you can start your loop with one. Okay, the reason behind this is anyways, the first element you have taken as a min and max element. You can loop through ele elements from the second element of the array. So that's the reason I'm giving here i as one, not zero. Okay, now i less than the array length. So we are going to iterate till the length is less than the array. And now here what we do is we will compare if now what we are comparing is the number, the max number which we have, the max number which we have, if it is less than the current element. If the max element is less than the current element, if the max element is less than the current element, it means the current element is a max element. For example, the max element is 16 in our case now. Okay. And now 16 is less than 23, right? 16 is less than 23, this is true. Now what should happen? This 23 should become the max number. So that's the reason we are assigning max equal to array of the current element. This is what we need to do. So now at any point when you're iterating through this array, when a number is greater than, so if 23, now 23 is a max number. Now a number which is greater than 23 is available in the array. So we'll check that. If that is the case, we'll assign that element to the max similar way we'll check for the min so now we think that a number minimum okay if that minimum number is greater so it's like vice versa for max you are checking if the current max element is less than the element current element the value in the max is less than the current element that's what you will be checking in the similar way if the minimum number is greater than what you think is a minimum okay and that minimum number is greater it means this should be the minimum number. The current element should be the minimum number, okay? So in this case, what happens is, so when you have zero as a minimum, now when you have 16 here, okay? 16 is a minimum number for you, so, but when it comes to zero, okay, when you are iterated to zero, which is a minimum number now? So 16 is what you have in min and zero is a current element, yeah? The minimum number is greater than zero. It means what we thought as a minimum is now not a minimum number because an element which is an element in the array which is less than the minimum element. So now this element should become the minimum element. So that is the reason we need to do this point. So this is what we need to do. In both the cases, you are going to check whether the number you are thinking that as a maximum is really maximum or any other number is greater than that. If any other element is greater than that, you will assign that as a max. In the similar way, the number which you are thinking is the minimum number, okay? And if any of the number, so in this case, 16 is greater than zero. It means zero is a real near number, a minimum number, okay? Now you will assign that minimum number here. So likewise, you can iterate over each and every element by checking this condition. You'll be having the min and max numbers in this. So once you're done with this, so end of this for loop, so what I'm doing, I'm returning back the min and max numbers. So I can return by like this in an object, fine. So now let me run this code. So again, I'm telling this is for the basic for the beginners. Now it will return in an object. See the minimum number is minus 14 and maximum number is 23. So like this, you can get the minimum and maximum number in an array. So this is a simple logic. So usually what we can do is we can use with the inbuilt methods, you can use math.min and you can pass your array, okay? But this will be taking a uh, list of items. So I'm giving this like this, okay? This is an array, right? We have, so you can do something like this, okay? 
and now you will be getting so you're spreading this array into list of items because the minimum will take only the list of items so with the inbuilt methods you can do something like this okay with the min and with the max you want you will be having math.max and the same you can do you can spread this array as a list of items okay and it will be giving you the max items with the inbuilt methods this is the things but usually in the basic uh, javascript interview questions for the basic beginners so they will not expect you to do this min and math they will expect something you need to write some logic like this okay hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos and if this is our channel rethinking your channel we have a number of videos on uh, front end development like html css javascript react js please have a look at it if you like the videos please subscribe thank you